Now we'll look at possibly the most important feature of every programming language, the ability to make decisions and carry out different actions according to the data presented to the program. Open up PHP and HTML.php in Komodo Edit and save it in PHP Demos with a new name, conditions.php. Keep the variable assignments but delete the echo statements below them. Now we'll write a series of conditions which will make the program print out different messages according to the values of the date and time variables. Below the last line of the variable assignments, type in if, and then inside round parentheses, dollar day equals equals, and in quotation marks, Sunday. Close the parentheses, open curly braces, which Komodo Edit will immediately auto-close. And inside the curly braces, echo, double quotes, have the day off, exclamation mark. Don't forget the semicolon at the end. There is no semicolon after the closing brace. We've written a conditional clause, the first programming decision that we've written. The if starts the decision off and evaluates whether the condition inside the round parentheses is true. If and only if the value of the variable dollar day is Sunday, then the code inside the curly braces will run, and the message have the day off will be displayed in the browser window. If today is not Sunday, you will see nothing, and you will have to wait until next Sunday to see this work. Actually, I'm joking. There's an easier way to test if the program works, and that's by temporarily overriding the value assigned to the dollar day variable. So test the Sunday condition by adding dollar day equals Sunday. Watch the case, make sure the case is the same, after the variable assignments. And once we've tested the program with this dummy data, assigned manually, we can remove this line and use the correct date and time from the server. When we test whether two sides of a condition are equal, we must use double equals because this is not a statement, it's a test. Single equals is quite different, it's an action, it assigns a value to a variable, as we've just done above. Putting single equals in conditions and forgetting the parentheses around the conditions are two common programming errors, which will lead to bugs in your program. Notice the indentation which Komodo Edit has applied automatically to everything inside the braces. We indent logical sections of the code to make the structure of the program easier to see. It would be nice to be able to echo a message which prints on either Saturday or Sunday, a weekend message. We do this using an OR test, an OR condition, which is written with a double pipe symbol. The pipe symbol is normally to the left of the space bar or to the left of the Z key on your keyboard. To make an OR condition, we write if dollar day equals equals Saturday, or that's the double pipe, dollar day again equals equals Sunday. And we must repeat it. We must say if dollar day equals or if dollar day equals. We can't just tag on the two variables because we're doing a double test. We're comparing dollar day with Saturday and then dollar day with Sunday. So we have to be very specific and repeat the variable name. And then inside curly braces, echo, I hope you're having a good weekend. Now let's put in a bit of HTML as we learned in the previous lesson by surrounding the message with p tags. Let's make another conditional clause above this one. If dollar hour greater than 12, echo, and then inside paragraph tags, good afternoon. Close the braces. As you can see, this time the part inside the braces will only run if the value of the variable hour is greater than 12. To try to print out an evening message, I could try adding if dollar hour greater than or equal to 18. Echo good evening. But what will happen when the hour value is greater than 18? In that case, both this condition, the afternoon condition, and the evening condition will be true. And we'll get both good afternoon and good evening printed out, which we don't want. To overcome this, we need an AND condition 
which we write using double ampersand. If hour greater than 12 and double ampersand, hour again less than 18. Echo, good afternoon. And that will solve that problem. For the evening greeting, we could use if hour greater than or equal to 18, double ampersand, hour again less than 23. And then, and only then, echo good evening. Here's another little task for you. Using if and these and conditions, try to produce six different greetings according to the time of day. Good morning from 6 a.m. to noon. Good afternoon from noon to 6 p.m. Good evening from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. Good night from 10 p.m. to 11 p.m. Go to bed from 11 p.m. to midnight. And you should be in bed and fast asleep from midnight to 6 a.m. And the answers, as ever, are in the working files.